Hello everyone, welcome to another game. This time we're playing Phasmophobia. This game is to do with using different types of equipment to try and locate ghosts. You've got to try and find out what particular ghost you're dealing with, uh, capture evidence. You can play single player, multiplayer, different maps, different um, levels um, of intensity. So let's get into it. I'll talk you through it as I go through. So I'm going to create a private lobby just because then I don't have anyone that I don't know who they are. So this time I think we'll go to Tanglewood Street. So I'm not going to use professional. I used professional last time and that really didn't go well. So Tanglewood Street is a small three bedroom single floor house with a basement. So it says we've just got confirmation of a possible ghost sighting here. Make sure you take careful look around. Gather as much evidence as you can for the ghost removal team. More information when you arrive. So the location is small as you can see on my screen here and the rec recommended team size is one so that's perfect for me. So there's three difficulties, there's amateur, there's intermediate and there's professional. So amateur you get five minutes at the start of every game to go around and locate the ghost room. It, it, at this point the ghost cannot hunt you, they cannot kill you. The only instance if they could do that is a demon and if you use this, the Ouija board which um, spawns more often than not in um, a particular room in the house if you use the Ouija board and you have a successful question I think it's something like 33% of the time the ghost can actually providing it's a demon can um, cut your time completely and can hunt you immediately so we try not to do that um, intermediate you get I think it's two and a half minutes um, the same thing to go around the house try and find the room and get back and get as much evidence as you can get things set up uh, professional level you get no time at all so the ghost can hunt you immediately um, just makes it a bit harder people that have got more experience of the game can usually play that one the only reason I would ever play professional is on a map called Willow House Willow Street House I think um, but that one is because I've played that one so often that I, I'm pretty sure I know the ins and outs of it. So I'm going to start on amateur level just to give you a bit of a, a heads up and to kind of see what it, see what happens with the game. So if I select that one. So the equipment list you start with is an EMF reader. So that EMF reader is, it's got five little lights on it at the top. Um, I'll show you when you get into the game. Um, and that you can detect whether there's a ghost nearby, whether there's a ghost presence. Um, I'll, I'll talk you through it when, when you when you see the product. Um, a normal flashlight, a photo camera, a UV light, so that can look for things like fingerprints, footsteps. Um, the fingerprints can be put on doors, windows, um, light switches. Footsteps can mainly be used as soon as a ghost has stepped through salt, so that's another thing I will explain a bit later. Um, video cameras, a spirit box. I think the, 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 the name is in the... It's in the name, uh, it, you use that to talk to the spirits. Um, whether they are a ghost that uses that or not, it doesn't really matter. Then you have a ghost writing book. So a ghost can actually write in that book anything they want. The majority of the time it's either die, kill, can't run, or they just do it at various drawings. So I'm gonna go to add because I know I've got a lot more equipment. So I'm gonna add a lighter and a candle. So the lighter so they can light the candle but also the the lighter can light my smudge sticks so I'm gonna put four smudge sticks in I'll explain them when I when I get to it like I said I'm gonna put some salt in put some more cameras in I'm gonna put some strong flashlights in just because I prefer to use the smudge the strong flashlights more than anything um, I don't need two spirit boxes I'll put another video camera in I need a crucifix um, I don't need I don't need two thermometers I'm not sure if I've got one so I'll put one in Sanity pills, I'll explain them as well when I get in. Don't need two ghost rooks, but I'll put one in anyway. And an infrared sensor. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to ready up. And we're going to make a start. Hint, ghosts have been known to stalk their victims in the dark. If you stay in the dark longer, your sanity goes down. Well, that I will explain in a little bit. Um, but it is right, ghosts have been known to stalk the victims in the dark. So just loading in now. Gosh, this is taking a while. There we go. So, this is your van. You can come back to the van at any point. And remember to check the whiteboard for help. This is the whiteboard. Right, so, these are the objectives. 
So you have four objectives, one of which is to discover what type of ghost we're dealing with. That you can do by eliminating all the different factors. Um, so for like spirit box, freezing temperatures, things like that. So objective two is find evidence of the paranormal with an EMF reader. So this one over here is the EMF reader. This is what I was telling you about. So this one has five different lights at the top. So you'll have the first light is one, uh, 1.5, 2.5. 10 and 20 plus so if it goes up to the red on the right hand side it means that it's an emf5 ghost they're usually quite nasty um so i'm going to put that one back down quite violently by the looks of it um get the blows the ghost to blow up the blows uh, the ghost to blow out a candle so you can light the candle put it down in the ghost room once you found it and it will blow it out um accordingly um, prevent the ghost from hunting with a crucifix so a crucifix has got I think it's a two meter range or a five meter range if you put it in the ghost room and the ghost spawns near it it cannot hunt it will take each corner of the, the crucifix until there's only a, a straight line left and then it will be able to hunt I'm pretty sure it takes the whole thing after that so so at the bottom it says I've done some more investigating for you looks like the ghost name is Elizabeth Martin this ghost seems to only respond to everyone you should be able to use its name to anger it and get some paranormal activity. Make sure you refer to your journal and write down any evidence. So, this is the journal. It says, Ghost Hunting, a Survivor's Guide. I'm going to... Yeah, so this in, this first two pages introduces the ghosts themselves. Um, like, what they are and things like that. Then it will, it will teach you what your sanity is. Um, so you need to keep your sanity high. All types of ghosts prey on your sanity, making them stronger and more insane to become. If you if you keep your sanity high, uh, you can do that by staying in lit rooms, having candles. Um, the digital clock in the truck, which was behind me, will show how long you have left before your ghost will get angry and lower the sanity faster. So use this time to find the ghost and set the equipment up. So... If your sanity becomes too low, um, then the ghost can A, hunt you, and B, you might as well just leave the house because it's not worth risking it because they will probably hunt you. So the first ghost is a spirit. The spirit is the most common ghost you will ever come across. However, it is still very powerful and dangerous. So their unique strengths, they don't have any. Their weaknesses, if you use a smudge stick near them, it will stop them attacking for, I think it's 3 minutes or 90 seconds. One of the two, no, 180 seconds. It's 180 seconds for a spirit, and with um, any other ghost, it's 90 seconds. So their evidence type, you would need a spirit box, fingerprints, and ghost writing. Then we have the wraith, and it will, as we go along, you just eliminate through each of the evidence, and it, every ghost will only have three evidence. So as you go along, I'll show you a bit further. Um, so these are all the tools you can use. Gathering the evidence so you can take numerous photos you'll get a rating of up to three stars on each photo depending on um, interaction um, finding a bone that's in the property finding the Ouija board having any sort of interaction and pictures of the ghost dirty water things like that so this is where you log your evidence so as you can see you can toggle back and forth to different things so at the moment I'm going to keep it on no evidence but if you had an EMF 5 a spirit box and maybe ghost writing then it would be an oni if you had emf5 freezing temperatures and ghost writing uh freezing or oh, fingerprints then it's a banshee so as you toggle backwards and forwards you get different ghosts so at the bottom you'll always have every single ghost type that you have the uh the yokai and the hantu are two different uh, the two new ghosts so they will obviously pop up every now and again so if i go over here so this is the map of the house this is tanglewood so where the little green line is which i can't see from oh there it is here that green line there where my little cursor is is where you enter the house then you have bedroom one bathroom bedroom two bedroom three then you've got the lounge kitchen um a little utilities room garage and then down the stairs you go to the basement which if I click on that is where the breaker is so the electric breaker the ghosts can turn on and off which will turn the lights on and off so this is where your sanity is kept so at the moment my sanity is 100% well near enough um, your sanity will lower and you'll get an average sometimes you get a, an objective to get under 25% that's not very often 
total activity, so the strength of the activity, if the ghost is in a hunt, it will always go up to 10. If the ghost is not hunting and you get, you're not in the house, there's no hunt, you can't see any reason why there would be 10, you're more than likely going to have an EMF level 5 ghost. Me and my friends have um, worked that one out quite quickly. Um, if you want to know exactly what an EMF level 5 will look like, the majority of the time that activity will be near enough at 10. So if you put a sound sensor in the property, you can put a sound sensor in each different room. So if I was to put one in the kitchen, the sensor one would turn into kitchen and it would show up on the scale as to what strength the sound is. This is the, the little TV screen. So you, at the moment it's infrared, that's daylight. This will show us when we put, hook up a camera, if I show you what I mean, if I grab a, a video camera, so now the video camera is on, I'm going to place it on the, oh no I'm not, I'm going to drop it, I'm going to place it on, the, there like that, so as you can see, it's looking at the whiteboard because that's where it is, so that's what happens when you go through. I'm going to put this back over here because I don't need it just to start. Yeah, no, I'll just put it back here. Or on the floor. So that is where you will see ghost orbs. So ghost orbs can be viewed on any any camera that's in the property. In other maps, sometimes they have CCTV cameras that go around the property. This one doesn't. This one just has one at the front door. The majority of them will have one at the front door. Um, every map, you'll get a key. You have to pick that one up first. None of the rest, any Nothing on the rest of this equipment is interactable. Um, that's our five minutes at the top there. As soon as we open the door to the property, that will start going down. Right, so top left, we've got sanity pills. So we can take them if um, our sanity is below um, the desired sanity, basically. So if I pick up this one, so this one is the thermometer. So as you can see, it will go around and tell you different temperatures. A freezing temperature reading would be below uh, it, it will just say minus whatever um, anything below 10 you can pretty much guarantee that that's going to be the ghost room this one is the spirit box as you can see when as soon as you click it it turns on you can use a, a local chat which if you listen that will be um, the way that you communicate with the ghosts and they will give either a response of um, nothing detected or it will give a response which I'll show you hopefully this ghost will be um, hopefully Elizabeth will be uh, a spirit box ghost so this one is the, video, the normal camera so this one you get five photos I'm gonna have to rebind my keys after because I keep using them um, this one is a smudge stick quite self-explanatory uh, well, sorry, the camera self-explanatory smudge sticks, you use the lighter to light them. You walk around the room where, the, where you believe the ghost to be. Um, I think it's six seconds you get of, san of um, smudge, and that will prevent the ghost from hunting for either 90 seconds if it's a normal ghost. If it's a spirit, then it will be 180 seconds. Crucifix, like I said, the ghost will take one part, then the other, leave the stick, and then I think it takes the whole stick. This top one is a, is a motion sensor. So this one will detect any motion you put on the wall uh, in the room. And if it's flitting in and out of the doorway, then you'll be able to see. One of these is the sound sensor and one of these is a motion sensor. I'm not too sure which one. No, one's in, that one's an infrared. That one's an infrared and that one's a sound sensor. I get them both mixed up. I don't use them very often. So that's our normal torch and that's our infrared torch. As you can see, it comes up with that little purple light. I always take a strong flashlight with me as soon as I start. Um, this will be the ghost book that's down here. So this will be what one of the ghosts will write in. Then we've got our lighter, salt and our candle. So I'm going to take my first three equipment. So let's go. That's not really important that one. So you always press those buttons to open the door. And I'm going to go into the house. Let's see if we can find our ghost. The music gets a bit eerie when we go in, so just beware. So this is Tanglewood. If I open this door. I really am going to have to rebind my keys. I'm going to try and shut all the doors each time. Ah. So open the door again. So I would assume that the ghost is either in this hallway, right here, 
or is in that room because I'm sure I shut that door. Let's shut the door again. Let's see what happens. Temperature's staying pretty stable. Mm, yeah, no drops in temperature at all. If I go down there a little bit. No, I'm not getting anything so far. This is really annoying. I'm going to have to re rebuy my keys. Um, so nothing in here. I might not actually shut that door, you know. I might leave that one open. So I'm pretty sure... Yeah. So that drop in temperature just there. So it does look like the ghost might be following me. Because I hear, I hear footsteps. I hear big footsteps that obviously aren't mine. If I come out to about here... So I'm going to put the camera... No, not like that. I'm going to put the camera maybe here. Do you know what? I'm going to get a... I'm going to get one of the tripods. I'm going to put it on the tripod and just see what... See what we can get. It's still quite high, so nothing suspicious just yet. I am going to just put it in this hallway. I might actually put it right here for now, just to see if it's potentially in the hallway there. So now that the camera's on, as you can see, the green light is on. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go and see if I can see anything on the on that little computer that I showed you earlier. So let's go over here, click this one. So I'm not seeing any ghost orbs here, which isn't a problem, that's not, not, not the end of the world. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try and move the camera maybe into that little bit there and we'll see if there's anything that turns up. Oh, the activity's going up quite a bit though, so it's quite an active ghost. So let's see what our ghostie does. So you always need an empty pair of hands to carry the camera on a tripod. So I'm going to turn that one off now. Didn't hear any footsteps that time, which is quite good. So I'm going to go back to the van again. This is just you, purely a process of elimination, really. Um, I w was hearing footsteps behind me doors were opening okay so I'm not seeing anything here either usually you would see like a little ball of light going across the room um, I'm not seeing anything here so what I might do I might go back in I've still got hmm, 53 seconds that's not a lot so I'm gonna go back in I'm gonna go and see so I think I'm gonna take the, the spirit box with me this time and just see what see what happens so always ask direct questions and um, some of the questions might sound really really crazy but this is just what I know to work. Are you here? So that is a ghost response. So it said that it was behind me. So it was obviously literally right behind me following me around. So that for us, when I get back to the van, that one is part of our evidence. So if I put this back on the top or on the floor, if I go back over here, I'm not seeing anything still, so that's a bit odd that I'm getting no um, no orbs or anything. So I've put in spirit box, because that is the first evidence. So spirit, wraith, poltergeist, jinn, mare, demon, oni, and yokai. They are our ghosts that it could be. So now I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in with the EMF reader. So now I will be able to see if Oh, something moved. It has. We're getting a lot of activity there then. So this is 
a ghost that wants to throw things about. So I'm going to put the EMF reader there. Now if I turn my torch off, you can see it's at 1. But there you go, more activity there. But that was still only a 3. So I don't think it's going to be an EMF ghost, in all fairness. Because that ghost didn't like those shoes, obviously. Maybe it was his what? It was um, the person who killed us shoes and she didn't like them. So now it's obviously walking about because the EMF is not going off constantly. So I think I'm going to get another camera, you know. I'm going to put another camera somewhere around there. And I'm going to see. That's the only problem is that the fact that it's a hallway ghost. Because it can now spawn anywhere in that hallway. So I am going to put a... I'm going to put this down because I don't need that. That's ridiculous. Oh well. Um, do you know what? I'm going to do that because it touched that door. And... Yeah, it's a very active ghost, obviously. So it doesn't like being on its own. So I'm going to put the book there. It might use it. It might not. So there's never going to be any... Um, writing or fingerprints on the door here and um, that's purely because the ghost will never touch this side of the door they could be on the other side but i'm gonna have a look in a minute i'm just gonna take a crucifix because just in case the ghost potentially could spawn right behind me and i don't particularly want that so let's turn this back on no ghost writing yet but that's fine so i'm gonna go in and I'm going to put the crucifix down round about here. So, as you can see... Oh, singing for me. There you go. So she's touched a lot of the doors. Well, that was beautiful singing, Elizabeth. So, now we know it's also a fingerprint ghost. What I am going to do is I'm going to go and get a photo camera because I need to take photos of the evidence so any interactions um, any sort of so I don't need the um, camera anymore I need the camera I don't need that one anymore so I'm going to take the camera with me so she's been singing to us so I'm going to just check my journal so we've had fingerprints so that means let me go on to something else so that means that she is either a spirit, a wraith, a poltergeist. So let's have a look back. So a spirit will need ghost writing. A wraith will need freezing temperatures, which I haven't got yet. And a phantom will need... Not a phantom. A poltergeist will need a ghost orb. So I didn't get a ghost orb. So my only assumption would be that at some point she should potentially write in that book. So this book here, she's moved my, has she moved my crucifix? No, I don't think she has. So I'm going to go take a photo of all the evidence. So those ones there. And I'm also going to move the book slightly. Oh, there she is. So if we take a photo of her, I'm going to stand by the doorway. So that was an EMF 2. So that's not a lot. She's obviously a very, um, she's not a very frightening ghost, in all fairness. But I am going to put the book a bit further up there for her. And I'm just going to leave her for a couple of minutes to see if she writes in it. Um, and I'm going to go and check on my sanity, because usually when they pop up like that, sometimes that means that they're going to take your sanity a little bit, um, and just see what happens. Ah, oh, she's not taking my sanity a lot. So, I don't know why I'm still looking at that. Um, what else can I take in with me? So I don't have another photo camera, but I've got... Let's have a double check. So I should have... There we go. So I've got fingerprints that were on that doorway. Those two are mistakes, so don't even look at them. And then we've got the photo of the ghost. If I was a bit closer, it would have probably gone up to a, a photograph at three star. So let's have a look and see. If she has used our book. Oh, she doesn't want me in there by the looks of it. Because she's moved the door. No writing as of yet. So the EMF's still going off. 
which is fine. So she could just be patrolling anywhere in that hallway, to be honest. Um, might get the thermometer back, you know. I'm going to put the camera there so I don't have to keep carrying it about. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave her to it for a little bit. I'll go and get the, um, the thermometer again. And I'm going to just quickly throw it in there to see what temperatures come up. So I've already got spirit, spirit box and we've got fingerprints. So the only other thing potentially could be ghost orbs. But I didn't see any, so I'm not sure if it's going to be a ghost orb. Ghost. So because my sanity is actually quite high, I don't expect her to hunt me. But I'm just going to... I think I'll just move the camera that's here. So usually when they do that, that does mean that your sanity is going to go down quite a lot. And she obviously doesn't want me in there, so let me go back into the truck and see on that camera. There you go. So see, so that was a level 8 and my sanity has dropped by 10%. So that means that she's not very happy with me being in there. I'm just going to double check the camera. See if there's any ghost orbs down this end. Because this was where she was usually standing. She's not in just one place. No, nope, I'm not seeing any orbs as such. Not seeing anything really. Might put another one by the door. Just to cover that last little bit that we weren't, we're not able to see from that camera. And we'll see if she's written in the book. No, nothing in the book just yet. So I'm going to put that one there. No, I'm not. I don't know whether it's worth throwing another ca a book over in that corner. Might have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see. Sanity's still alright. No, it's a bit too light on the floor there, actually. Yeah, that's quite a bad placement, to be honest. So I'll put the crucifixes in there. So what I could do is I could smudge her. Because that will rule out if she's a spirit. I personally think that she's going to be a book ghost. I don't think that she's going to be... Yeah, I don't think that she's going to be um, a freezing temperatures because I would have got them usually by now. So, I'm wondering if I throw another book in there, she might write in it. She might get angry at it, she might not like it, she might not want to write in it. Just give her a couple of minutes, see if she does. Sometimes she'll write in it pretty much straight away. If I go and grab the spirit box, I think I put it back in the van. I'll see if I can ask her to write into the book for me. Can you write in the book? Right in the book, Elizabeth. Oh, I saw her try to manifest in that corner over there. There was a little black blip. I'm wondering if she's not going to be too happy with me. Because my sanity is near enough at the point where she could hunt me now, which I don't really want, because I'll more than likely die. Are you friendly? Nothing detected, okay. So she might walk to the other side of the corridor. You never know. I'm going to put that in there for now. I 
think she's in that bedroom now because that wasn't my phone. So that vibration that you heard was a mobile phone going off, but it was actually in the in it's in the game. It was her phone basically. So I'm gonna come out for a bit, give her a bit of space, because she obviously wasn't very happy with me being in there. The problem is though, I don't want to be in there for too long because if she's a poltergeist, they're not very friendly. So I'm not getting any orbs or anything, which is a bit odd, because usually, if they're in the hallway... So I think we can rule out the fact that she's not... Um, so I don't think she's a ghost orb ghost. So what would a ghost orb ghost be? So I don't think she's a poltergeist, which is good. Um, let's have a look back and see what she could be. So spirit... Ghost writing. I think she's potentially going to be a ghost writing. I think she's going to be um, a spirit because she's a bit crazy, to be honest, and she's singing along to me. I'm not seeing any sort of freezing temperatures. So I do believe that she's going to be a spirit. Let's just get her to blow out my candle and I'll show you guys how she does that. So, if I grab my candle, I light my candle. I go to the door. At least I'll then potentially be able to see that she's by the door if she is by the door. So if I put that there, she could blow it out, she might not. I personally I think she's going to be a ghost writing ghost in all fairness. I think she's going to end up uh, writing into one of those books. I just don't think I've got the right placement. Let's see. If she blows me candle out. Ah, what a guess. Oh no, I can't take a photo of it. Okay. That's how, how annoying is that. Okay, so leave or die. I mean, thank you. I would like you to blow out my candle first, if that's okay with you, though. Um, ah, right, let's go. <laughs> she's done everything I've asked her to do. So, we can now determine that she's a spirit. She's a crazy spirit, because spirits are always crazy. Right, let's mark this in our journal. Let me throw everything out because of my key binding. Right, let's go. So... So we now have ghost writing and we can now confirm that she is a spirit. So as you can see on the board, get a ghost without a candle and the EMF reader have both been done. I don't think she's going to personally hunt. Um, I could try ag like agitating her, getting her to, uh, to hunt um, and use the crucifix. But I'm actually not going to because I've now got what I needed. Um, I'm not going to go and look for the bone and I'm not going to go and look for the Ouija board just purely because I don't feel safe enough to do so because she's a bit crazy. But I will um, have a look and see. Fingers crossed that we've got it right. I'm holding on to the edge of my seat. Yay, we've got spirit. So, I've got some jobs ready for you. so we didn't get bone evidence and we didn't get objective four, but we got first, second, third objectives, which both get you $10.00 photos we got two really good photos they were both two or three star um i think they were both two stars so they're both twenty dollars um and insurance ten dollars i'm not sure what the insurance is for um and i've explained some experience i've gained some experience so there you go time in the ghost room one minute 34 seconds total time investigating 19 minutes amount of ghost interactions is 43 that is incredible she is a very very crazy ghost had i've stayed any longer it would have probably doubled that so We'll leave Elizabeth to it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, I'm going to record another couple of games with maybe some new people, new maps. Um, and we'll try and get a hunt for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked my video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment with any sort of suggestions that you, you'd like me to play. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.